Hi, my name is Frank Salinas, and I'm in the corporate sales organization with Riverbed Technology. And I'd like to ask you a question, and that is, have you ever sat behind your steering wheel in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, uh, basically thinking that you'll never get to your final destination? And even worse, have you ever had to sit in gridlock on a bridge when there basically are now no exits and you've had to contend with a very long wait factor? Um, here's an illustration of typical traffic scenario in a large metropolitan city. Um, regarding technology in the world of IT and in terms of CIOs and network managers, uh, large corporations that they uh, manage in their IT infrastructure, one of the things that they have to contend with is traffic as well, but not behind a steering wheel, but it's the traffic that is on their company's wide area network. So imagine this being a wide area network and there is a primary data center here and a remote office out here and every day a lot of traffic, sensitive information has to run back and forth across this network. What Riverbed can do is give your organization the ability to run across this network or this highway if you will at speeds unprecedented. So essentially what I'm saying is that what if you could get in your car and drive your Monday morning commute and feel as if it's 3 a.m. on a Sunday morning. Basically, no cars on the highway. I would safely say at least 60 to 95% of the cars on this wide area network, if you will, would actually be off the highway. And I'm gonna tell you how Riverbed can actually help you achieve this. Hi, my name is Frank Salinas of the Corporate Cells, and this is my big picture portion of the presentation. Um, what I'd like to also reiterate is that in the world of IT, in terms of network managers and CIOs, rather than having to contend with traffic from uh, behind their steering wheel, they're having to contend with traffic across their corporate wide area networks. So again, to illustrate uh, a very busy highway here, two-way two direction highway, uh, freeway if you will, uh, CIOs basically are very much challenged with the reality that during certain times of the day across their networks they hit saturation points just like we hit with traffic during peak rush hours in the early parts of the day and the end of the day. Again, uh, with the riverbed solution in the virtual IT world if you will, what we would be able to do is uh, imagine a toll booth on this highway here up top. We will take a snapshot of every car that has ever run across this highway before. And we know the physical makeup and the composite and the substance of what that car is. If that car tries to come back on the highway again tomorrow or day after tomorrow, if you will, we would rather not let it go across because it's that data uh, or what that car physically makes up is already here on this side of the highway at, on the, across the bridge. So essentially what we're talking about here is data reduction. And on average, we are seeing typically in corporate environments 60 to 95 percent data reduction. In other words, a lot of the cars that have been on this highway before have been on the week before, several days before. In fact, again, it's a reality of their commute. Riverbed would help alleviate that commute. Essentially, what that translates to is less cars on the highway and much more room for efficiencies in how cars move on the network. And also gives you more lanes, if you will, to be able to expand and do other interesting things on the highway, if you will. So again, Riverbed is in a very unique position to recognize cars, datas, patterns, and shrink them down. 40 cars could represent this single bus here. And also we would take off a lot of the cars that were already run across the highway yesterday and essentially what that translates to is addressing latency and we're also talking about application acceleration. Cars moving at an unprecedented speed across your wide area network. This is Frank Salinas with Corporate Inside Cells and this is my object reframe. So Frank, this all sounds good. I, I understand that you can take traffic off the freeway on the wide area network. Um, I understand that you can speed up applications. I think our situation is a little bit unique. We're really looking at the disaster recovery side of this and how can we speed up our, our backups. Great, I'm glad you asked. And so disaster recovery is a, a reality and very prevalent within the large corporations that Riverbed provides a service to. And what I'd like to say from the outset is, is you know, for me personally, um, 
backing up data is always critical. I'll give you an example. Um, recently, I was trying to come up with a solution myself where I could back up all my photographs and all my work uh, off my laptop to a hosted site where basically in the event, like we live in San Francisco, if an earthquake or something happened or some disaster, God forbid, that I'd have all my data saved somewhere. What I really found out when I started doing it is that literally it was taking hours to do this. So it's something that you have to babysit and constantly watch and monitor. In fact, uh, when I started this process myself, it was going to take over 24 hours to do it. Uh, basically, it's an overnight project. Well, again, to, in the world of IT, imagine this. Uh, for example, the large oil and gas industry that has adopted and utilized our technology. Very interesting is that they realized that backing up data from their oil and offshore drilling platforms to their corporate headquarters, for, for example, Houston, um, is a very time-consuming and very cumbersome task. And, and the reason why is, one, they have limited bandwidth over VSAT to the oil rigs. Often those are very long, narrow links with very high latency. It can be anywhere from 600 milliseconds latency on up. Well, if you're trying to do a backup over that, and in parallel, there are users actually utilizing that bandwidth for other applications, often the backup may time out. If we give you an example, one of our customers, Petrobras, was actually trying to achieve backups and they were taking up to 36 hours to do backups. So again, back to my scenario, if there were some impending disaster, and it's another example when Katrina was coming through the Gulf of New Mexico years ago, that was a category five hurricane moving straight towards uh, Louisiana and Texas. Well, the challenge there was there's really thousands of oil rigs in the Gulf and they went through lockdown was 36 hours enough sufficient amount of time to actually back up all the data on those rigs to a primary site? Probably not that game, but a lot of people, they were very nervous about that. Uh, an example of Petrobras, they were, after installing and putting a riverbed in, they were now are able to achieve their backups in under four hours. So that is a huge, uh, difference in it changes the games completely the, the rules of the game 36 hours now down to four hours would you like to be in a position to be able to back your data up that effectively